Good morning, dear students. Today's our topic is related to, to the Code of Civil Procedure. Code of Civil Procedure regulates the procedure of Court of Civil Judicature in which the Court of Civil Judicature with the help of lawyers or counsel for clients in legal terminology, we can call that an amicus curiae helps out the court to reach at a right conclusion by adopting the rules which are provided for regulating the procedural law. Remember, dear students, that the Code of Civil Procedure is divided into two portions number 1 the substantive portion that comprises over 158 sections. This portion is in fact the statutory portion of Code of Civil Procedure and is being legislated by the British Parliament in year 1908. The other portion of Code of Civil Procedure is known as the procedural portion. It contains 51 orders and these 51 orders are further divided into rules and if we accumulate or collect all rules and count them, so there are 579 rules provided in the procedural portion of Code of Civil Procedure. Generally, if we want to divide the Code of Civil Procedure, we can divide it into three portions. These three portions could be divided into the provisions which are related to <clears throat> to pre-trial stage the pre-trial stage ranges from order 1 to order 13 order 13 of CPC I mean code of civil procedure then we enter into the next portion of code of civil procedure that is the trial stage and trial stage starts from order 14 of CPC order 15, order 16, order 17 and most probably order 18. These orders are related to the trial stage. Then we enter, I mean uh, till the extent of order 21. These all orders onward from order 14 to order 21 is related to the trial stage and the limit will end at order 21. Order 21 is the largest order of Code of Civil Procedure. It contains 104 rules. <clears throat> there are some orders which are miscellaneous after 
order 21 these orders can be adjusted either into pre-trial stage or trial stage in accordance with the nature and application of those rules there is no hard and fast rule i mean the presiding of officer of the court of court of civil judicature can apply any procedural law any procedural rule uh, after order 21 either into the pre-trial stage or trial stage in accordance with the need of circumstances of the case then we enter into the post trial stage post trial stage post trial stage is in fact starting for after pronouncement of the judgment I mean when the stage of execution of decree is sought by the decree holder against the decree judgment the post trial stage would start from there a great party either the decree holder or the judgment dater may apply to the higher forum by applying an uh, an, 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 an application or petition as known as appeal against the judgment or a decree of the trial court remember that appeals are always appeals are always applied by the aggrieved party against a decree it is the decree which is appealable not the judgment Remember students that pre-trial stage is the preparatory stage whereof the parties to the suit or litigation, the court of law, the counsel to the clients get to prepare by indulging in a deep scrutiny or examination of the nature of issues. Thereby they can understand what issues or what question of law or fact has to be resolved by the court of law in the light of evidence presented by both sides to the trial. The appellate stage is that stage which is provided in the relevant provisions of Code of Civil Procedure ranging from section 96 onward and from order 41, 42, order 43, order 44, order 45 of Code of Civil Procedure. Appellate stage consists upon two types of appeal. Number one, the number one, the rights of appellant to file two consecutive appeals, one against the original decree of trial court, the second against the first appellate decree of appellate forum. Remember that the third appeal is known as a constitutional petition and is filed under Article 184 clause of Constitution of Pakistan 1973 and is known as leave to appeal is a discretion of the last appellate court. Students, please subscribe AK Clicks for further lectures.